In this lesson, we're going to talk about uh, some new finger exercises. Um, by now, you might have noticed that you're having uh, maybe some issues with certain fingers um, moving independently of others. For example, um, it's pretty common that when you try to move your third finger, your fourth finger will move with it, or, your, or vice versa, or some other finger combination that you're having a problem with. So, this first exercise is going to work on finger independence. Um, it's kind of hard at first, just take it really slow. Um, it's very similar to the first exercise that we ever learned. Um, it's also going to work on your uh, finger arching ability, which is really important for just your overall technique. So we're going to start this on the fifth fret with our first finger. So get your finger nice and arched there. And we're just going to go half steps down, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. Now make sure you leave all your fingers down. Then, without moving any fingers, we're going to go down to the next string with our first finger. Then our second, then our third, then our fourth. So what you're concentrating on here is not moving any other fingers. So you're moving one finger at a time. Then we're going to go down to the next string. Then down to the G string. This also forces you, really forces you to um, arch your fingers because if they're not arched, when you go down to the next string, like the B, you get that sound. So make sure your fingers are arched. This third finger here is by hard the hardest one to move by itself. So that's it. That's the ascending pattern. Let's do that one more time. Again, just take it nice and slow. This, this is definitely not a race. This is really just working on, on your finger independence. Also, be thinking about your alternating picking. You got your palm on the bridge. Okay, now when we descend, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to start on the fifth fret with our first finger, go straight up, then Go to the B string, 5th fret, with our first finger. Don't move any other fingers. Just move one at a time. Then to the G string. Then the D string. Moving one finger at a time. A string, and finally the low E string. This takes a lot of concentration. You're really going to have to work on not, you're going to, when you, after you play those first four notes and you go down, you start ascending down the strings. You're really going to want to be tempted to pick these fingers up. Just keep them planted on the strings. Take it as slow as you need to go. And you can practice this anywhere on the fretboard. It's a great exercise. This exercise helped me a ton. You can slowly work, work up your speed. Okay, so that's one exercise. So now we're going to take a look at another exercise that's going to work on using different combinations of your fingers. So we're going to start this on the first fret in first position. So fret that first fret with your first finger. Then we're going to play the third fret with our third finger. Then the fourth fret with our fourth finger. 
Okay, we're going to do that all the way ascending to the high E string. Don't forget to alternate your picking. So first, third, and fourth fingers. Now when we get to the fourth fret on the high E string, we're going to slide that up to the fifth fret. We're going to go descending, but using our pinky second and first finger. So we get to the bottom. Whoops. We slide up to the fifth fret. Now we're going to descend. Second finger on the third fret. First finger on the second fret. Go to the B string. Pinky, second finger, first finger, all the way back down. We get to there, we're going to slide up a fret and repeat what we first did. First finger, third finger, fourth finger all the way to the high E string. And we're going to slide up to the seventh fret with our pinky, one, one half step, one fret up. And now we're going to descend using our pinky, second finger, and first finger. Again, we slide up. One, one fret. Slide up a fret. Slide up a fret. Slide up a fret. So on. You can do this all the way up the net. That's a good exercise. And these that that finger pattern, first, third, fourth finger, and first, second, fourth finger are really common. Um, that's a common finger pattern or finger combination in many many scales that we'll be learning down the road. Okay, I have one more exercise for you. This is going to work on combinations with all your fingers. So we're going to start with our first finger on the first fret, and we're going to play every combination that you can do there. So first fret to uh, second fret with our second finger, all the way down the strings. And then descend as well. Then we're going to do first finger, third finger. do first finger, fourth finger. Okay, now staying in first position, we're going to work on our second finger and third finger together. So second finger, second fret, third finger, third fret, all the way down. Want to remember the hovering fingers that we talked about. You want to try to keep your fingers kind of hovering over their assigned frets. That pinky's really going to want to get out there. Try to, it's, it's hard, but you just got to kind of concentrate on keeping it in close. So after we do the second finger and third finger, we're going to do second finger and fourth finger. So second finger. 2nd fret, 4th finger, 4th fret. This one you're really going to feel right here in your hand. Then descend. Okay, good. Now the last one is your 3rd finger 
and your fourth finger together. So third finger on the third fret, fourth finger on the fourth fret. That's it for that exercise. You can practice that anywhere on the neck. Again, this is a great way to warm up. It's really going to get. It's really going to work on your your finger independence and the, the muscle memory in your fingers and your finger dexterity.